A family waiting for closure and a lawsuit hoping to bring them answers five years after a southern Indiana woman died on the job. WDRB's Darby Bean and Marcus Green investigate what's making this so difficult. It's, it's been a long time since this all started. October 2017. Life for a southern Indiana family changed forever. Even now, like, even my siblings would talk about it, it's like we still expect her to like just come in the door. 44 year old Melissa Stevens, a mother of four, died while working at Autoneum, a Swiss based auto parts plant at River Ridge in Jeffersonville. She was able to open the machine, walk right in, and that's when she was killed. It just really was hard to accept it. Not only grieving the loss of his mother, Stephen's oldest child, Dakota Edwards, is still waiting through paperwork and legal proceedings more than five years later. While Indiana has workers' compensation, it only provides a capped amount, even for workplace deaths. So the family's lawyers targeted the manufacturer of the machine they say led to Stephen's death. Found out that it was this company in China named Phylong Nonwoven Machinery Company, uh, and so we filed suit against them. The company participated in the lawsuit at first, but then stopped. The court awarded for lost income and loss of love and affection uh, 10, approximately $10 million. Uh, since then, uh, Fei Long has basically ignored any uh, attempts for us to contact them. They refuse to pay it, um, and they continue doing business in the state of Indiana. Fei Long argued in court documents that Stevens' death was due to improper operation of the operator and that it did not make any direct or indirect Tension, fault, or negligence that caused her death. Phylong killed Melissa Stevens. That, that's not my opinion. That was the decision of the court. And Autoneum has made the business decision to continue doing business, continue sending money to this company that killed its employee, rather than sending that money to that employee's family. Chinese companies can get served with lawsuits from the United States, but attorneys say it's nearly impossible to collect U.S. court judgments against those firms. Basically, you have to get creative and try and find any assets that they might have that are in the United States or anybody in the United States that might owe them money. Lawyers are now trying to get a judge to order Autoneum to send money owed to Phylong to Stephen's family and also try to find other countries where Phylong does business to see if a judgment can be enforced there. In court documents filed this year, Autoneum accuses Stephen Stevens' estate of interfering in its business relationship with Phylong. After Stevens' death, Autoneum said it started an internal investigation and complies with occupational health and safety regulations. Indiana regulators initially fined Autoneum nearly a quarter million dollars before settling on a $14,000 penalty. As the lawsuit grinds on, Stevens' family is searching for closure, knowing nothing can bring back their mom. My mom was kind of like the anchor for our family, and then whenever she passed away, we kind of had a hard time holding ourselves together. She really kept everybody together. If there's ever a settlement, we'll keep you up to date, of course.